I'm in the uh, workshop and something has just come across my bench. It's a small chop saw, really lightweight. It runs on the 18 volt platform, so if you're already running that, could be a good addition to your kit. So I mean, there's a two foot level. You can see how tiny it is. The width between two joists, what's it good for? I suppose it's good for when, you, oh, when you're at the top of a block of flats, the lift's not working, you've got to lug your tools up. You know, you can have that in one hand, you can have three or four other things in the other hand. Normally a chop saw is a one trip thing, isn't it, you know? Four by two, will it cut a four by two? I mean, the blade's only 165 mil, um, so it's similar to a small sort of battery circular saw. I suppose there's not a lot of difference between that and a battery circular saw other than the fact it's got a really nice base on it, which does your mitres. It goes down to 50, over 50 degrees both ways, which is quite nice if you've got an architrave, which is a bit out of square, or a spandrel under a stair, because that's always an odd angle. Let me give it a whirl. So it's not got a radial function, so it doesn't pull out and push back. It's literally just a chop saw. So we'll give that a quick go. I'll just take a bit off the end. Don't want to waste that material. I'll cut that nice compound cut on it. There we go. Believe it or not, it handles that easily. And um, I mean, it's a brand new blade, it's beautiful. It's like glass, that. And that's the bit of 4 by 2 that's been in the workshop for ages. It's got a real ring to it. So let's go to 45, straight off the cuff. It has a laser, which is operated by a switch. And a light, look at the light. There we go, now let's pop a little miter on this. Let's take that bad end off there. So what are you cutting on at the moment, 50 or what? I'm on 45 degrees, this is, um, this is a miter. Okay. All right, so let's come round square. Knock me a little bit off there. Oh, what a beautiful smell that thing. Yeah, this thermo wood's great stuff. It's, oh, it's amazing, no chemical in that. And it's good for a lot of years outside that as well, without any treatment, providing it's not in contact with the ground. So let's put a little mark on there. See how accurate that laser is. Bit of safety there, clamping your work. That's a clean cut. Let's go on the edge of this board, because it's obviously a sheet of, there we go, there we go. Perfect, you could, work of art, look at the grain matching up. So it's a good bit of kit, but it's a bit more than the chop saw because actually it's also going to give you double bevel. It's going to give you compound cut. So nice big handle on the back. Boom, look at that. So let's see how it operates doing a compound cut. So I'm 45 this way and I'm also 45 that way on the rake as well. And this will, this will be a good test of the blade. Oh, there you go. There's an interesting concept. We need to take out this guard for that because it's actually going to break into that. Look, and there's even a bit of plastic in there. Someone's already had it off. Okay, let's just do a dry run first to make sure we're not gonna... There we go. Everything's set up fine. The blade's not in contact with anything else. Let's see if we can get one the other way as well. Perfect, so that is the limit. That width is the limit. 65 mil, say, 66 mil. On, and that, on that thickness? On this thickness, which is a rough skirting board thickness. It's architrave thickness, but that's basically your compound cut there. Dust extraction, well, like all power tools, it's almost de rigueur. Everything's got to be dust extraction. But if you're in the flat, you're up the top floor, you haven't got your um, hoover, you're just putting a little loft hatch in or something like that, you've got your bag. So let's see what the sort of contents. Let me put that, spit out what we've just taken out there. You'll have a mixture here. It'll be like dark and light. There we go. There's the light stuff. You really want to be using the um, larger batteries, anything over a three amp hours, I would say. I'm a strong believer in um, the, the circular battery saws now, and I, um, when they first sort of came on the scene, I was thinking, oh, they're going to run out too much. But actually, I did a whole flat roof. It was a small flat roof with two batteries on an 18 volt platform circular saw. So now I have faith in the batteries. So what do I think of it? Yeah, it's a good little saw. I haven't had a real good play with it. I've just chopped a couple of bits of wood up as you've seen. Um, but I, we all know how a chop saw works. It's not rocket science. Would it suit me? 
not for everyday work. I've got some big stuff, as you know. Equally, when I used to do a lot of maintenance work, I used to get caught short and I didn't have any power or anything like that, or I'm in the back of the van. This is ideal for that. Pop it out on the sidewalk, boom. You can do your cuts and you're away. Little stud wall, anything like that. So yeah, it's a good little bit of kit and it will probably run for ages because it's not dissimilar to my 18 volt circular saw which has got the same blade size and that just runs and runs and runs now you can really get some work out of that so make sure you keep checking back to skill builder as i say this was a real short sweet review on this saw it's really not you know like a comprehensive one roger and i've got some interesting stuff coming up please check back check and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe thanks very much mm -hmm.